Smart is the word which is going to stay because everything eventually is going to be IT enabled and smart enabled. Hi, I'm Anuj Gupta, CEO of Hitachi Systems Microclinic. We are at a, at a place in time in India especially where if you look at the way system integration business has matured or it has you know, scaled up from being a point solution provider or being a technology provider to today giving end-to-end -end information technology consulting. Today, the customers are really looking at partners who can help them do the entire technology journey. Organizations today, if they want to ride the curve or they want to be in front of their consumers and be different, they have to adopt latest technologies. They have to adopt transformation. And the companies who don't adopt transformations are companies who are dying. We are done with being a point solution provider. We need to understand the customer use case. And today at the customer end, our target audience has changed. It's no longer the CIOs, CISOs or the manager ITs. We need to go talk to business, we need to go talk to finance, we need to go to talk to HR as well. So it's an integration of various functions in the customer place which is actually driving the technology consumption within the organization. In Hitachi Systems Microclinic, again, if you look at Hitachi globally, we are talking about social innovation. That's our theme. That's what we want to do. Where we are looking at is, we are upgrading our skills. We are actually going with customers and partnering with them. We are no longer telling the customer that buy this or buy that. We are actually understanding what they need and then integrating various technology platforms. And today, when we talk about various technology platforms, it could be as as uh, latest as AI technology to process automation. We could be even basic, how do you upgrade your data centers? So today, integration of all of this is what is helping us drive our business. We chose VMware 10 years back and we are very proud about it. The reason why we really like this whole partnership because VMware has always been at the apex of innovation. If you look at their products, their solutions, they've always been the first ones to get out a lot of technology which the customer needs. At times breakthrough, at times it takes a lot of time for adoption, but they've been there. The beauty about the partnership is that they have a model which is completely indirect. So they, whatever they make, whatever they innovate, they come and come back to the partner to sell. And they really ensure that we upgrade our skills, we come in line with what they want us to sell and then go and deliver that to customers. We've had a great partnership. We would love, love the way they work with us. We've really enjoyed the technology, technology innovations they've done. And the beauty is that we worked as partners with our customers. So we have enough and more reference points where the customer would say it was it took three for a success. And the three were VMware, us and the customer. Again, we're at a very interesting point when it comes to technology. As I said, if you look at the peak cycles, right? Five years back, technology peak cycles would last five to seven years. In today's era, the peak cycle lasts for two years. That means a lot of technologies which have come and gone, technologies which customer could not live without, in a year has become redundant because they've become part of a feature set of the larger offering. At this point in time, it's extremely important to understand what the customer needs. What is his scalability? Where does he want the technology to go? And how long does he want it to last? At that point in time, it's extremely important to choose the right partner or the right OEM. We, along with VMware, rode the software-defined wave. Again, that was a wave which a lot of customers were very hesitant about. They were not very keen to invest. Again, there's always a dichotomy between going the hardware way or the software way. But in today's era, I think the acceptance is extremely high. Customers have realized the value of having a software-defined infrastructure with the flexibility, agility, the transformation that you can do within that environment. It, it leaves you with all possibilities. In a hardware kind of an environment, you're stuck with what you have. So that's where we see a lot of adoption with the technology quotient available in the cloud, with the integration with AWS, with looking at the SD-WAN, looking at all of this actually falling in place and now with the entire security on the MDM space. If all of this integrates and fall in one place, I think VMware would be the right partner for customers, especially from an agility, transformation, adopting new technologies. And the beauty about VMware, it's agnostic. So you could have any hardware, you could have any of the technology platform that integrates extremely well. You know, it is where technology is really changing rapidly and it's 
at times it's really difficult to keep in pace with it. Technology, now you have to slice and dice it as per business, business needs and business cases. A banking sector would require a very different kind of technology flavor to an online startup or to someone who is delivering, who's manufacturing or delivering pharmaceuticals. The way technology consumption is going to be is all dependent on how your end consumer or your customer is going to consume technology. It's going to be a challenge as to how you're really going to identify the right technology, then consume the technology and get an ROI on that technology. With VMware, we see that they have a stack which is flexible. Again, because of the software-defined story, I want to reinforce that because that story is a story which is very different than what everyone else is talking. It gives the flexibility, it gives the agility. And at, at a point in time when you're talking about borderless data centers, you're talking about boundaryless you know, hyperscalers. And with the entire VMware stack, I think that is something we can achieve. With the SD-WAN story, again, you look at how you can just integrate or most of the branch offices on a software platform. We as a system integrator, VMware as an OEM partner, has to really guide the customer the right way. Look at how we can integrate. Again, social innovation is something which we really talk about in, in Hitachi. And as we say, as one Hitachi, we want to give platform as a solution to customers. There again, we look at a strong integration with VMware and really go back and do platform integration for customers, be it smart cities, smart airports, be it smart transportation. Smart is the word which is going to stay because everything eventually is going to be IT enabled and smart enabled.